just here, yeah you're recording now so do you have obs not no, yet there's no app mm. to pay for except for the phone no the obs we bought we yeah, paid for the phone yeah okay for the phone. so my volume's so good sure because where do we want it to be maybe you don't want do speaking hello where do we want it to be the mic the volume you should should we turn in echoes up a little bit the screen right we just oh. look at each other yeah look at each other yeah it's better yeah then it's like it's uh, natural but wait a minute <laughs> you can look at the camera if you want it's just the angle everything is good yeah just do how we feel right yeah Oh my god, I just got maybe, emotional. Maybe oh, you game. have an yeah. emotional yeah. attack. Yeah. No. You might throw the mic and then you just... Om Shanti Om. Okay, relaxing. Okay, so we'll start with just mentioning that this is... Uh, Don't whisper though. Second conversation. Or... Yeah, so this is the second conversation on Plasma, and we actually got back to a question which right. one of the viewers had, and uh, we would love to answer this. In, okay, that's um, good. Our personal experience, yeah. All right, who wants to do the intro? I guess that's my job. Yes. You, <laughs> Brother Sage, would you like to start it with? <laughs> I'm like, ah, okay, the mantra. You want to talk oh my god, oh my a god. prayer? <laughs> I was like, it's like my nightmare, right? It was yeah. like I could going back to Canada for Christmas. I was like, okay, imagine, like, oh, I'm gonna be the new one there, and they're gonna be like, oh, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I gotta pack, I gotta find a prayer. <laughs> and then he like asked me, I was like, this is crazy. Oh, yeah. It's like one of my fears. Anyway, all right. Focus. Um, okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start recording. Oh, it's already recording. Yeah, it's okay. Well, there we go. I thought so. But I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome, everyone. Anika and I are doing a follow-up conversation to our last talk on Plasma, which you can find in the Golden Plasma playlist, or in the playlist under Golden Plasma. And uh, one of our viewers and companions in this journey uh, had a question about odors and here let me just bring it up uh, yeah odors and does the smell dissipate and um, it's a situation where she is living with other members of the family that aren't doing plasma therapy so this can be an interesting situation so we're just going to share our experiences with that today <laughs> so thank you and thank for you. joining me again and yeah Very grateful mm -hmm. yeah nice we have this exchange now mm. and happy more will come much mm. more yes yeah, so the um, yeah my experience like i am uh, i would say uh, fully into plasma and my partner is totally not my uh, my husband and um so I get um, closer Yeah, you can move okay. back. Yeah. Closer. yeah. There we go. I thought it doesn't want to stay. Oh. That's okay. I can hold it. <laughs> it looks a bit strange. If I just hold my hand like this, it's quite all right, right? Yay. But Anything you, goes here. <laughs> yeah. If, if it works, it works. Yeah. So um, because I used the uh, fresh plasma as well really to rub my um, face and my feet which I do twice a day so that's easy because uh, the the um, yeah the smell what is the smell like the, the, the perfume how do we call it like this the, it's not a smell the essence the essence of the plasma doesn't stay yeah the scent and um, and then we have the challenge with the boiling plasma indeed because I love to blend it with moringa oil mm. and use it as a 
facial like yeah care product yes and then we get into the fragrance yes <laughs> because i like it and my partner is um, not so much liking it or maybe totally not i can say just say no <laughs> so we i try to have my work around like um in the evening i just say to him like when i make myself ready for bed mm. i say i already gave you a kiss now <laughs> and last time he said i really appreciate this <laughs> so uh and then i just because for me especially in the night i would love to apply it yeah for the regeneration of the cells oh, so the night time is such a great time to do mm -hmm. it yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah, we, we are totally understand that everybody has just different beliefs, right? Sure. <laughs> and in the morning, sometimes when I'm a bit more early, I still do the combination of the um, Boya Plasma Moringa Oil um, um, thing. But sometimes I just do the, um, I always do the fresh cleaning and then I just apply mainly like Moringa Oil. Mm. Because then I am in contact with many people. Yeah. And I know that I would evaporate uh, I'll, yeah the fragrance of the plasma yeah and uh, yeah so that that's how i do and i do it secretly in the laundry mm. in combination with homemade uh, washing detergents yeah made from a soap block from lime yeah extract whatever but um yeah so that's some and you have a lot of experience with like cleaning as well right yeah <laughs> yesterday i did a huge cleanup around the property here outside and washed off like a whole bunch of stuff right outside the window here all my plasma bottles i washed everything off because um it was a big rain season here so it was like this splash back and everything's kind of dusty mm -hmm. somehow after the rain season is finished yeah and uh did a big wash down on the wood platform just outside the house here and i mean literally like everything the cushions were sitting on the curtains behind us my hair the dishes my i don't know do you did you i mean you're used to smelling it but no i didn't because I'm, otherwise i would have noticed yeah, totally not yeah and it's not an odor that you you um you get used to so you don't smell anymore it's not like that no. like every bottle of plasma has a different odor and yeah. i recognize that right away when i was staying with uh, a friend of mine in georgetown i was using my plasma as a body wash like i normally do and i noticed that her drain wasn't draining very well oh yeah and then you can get an odor that lingers if it's like sitting yeah. there pooled yes um, open yeah and i think also that if people if the drain isn't running clear mm. um like if there's a if you have a slow drain on your yeah irrigation yeah or, or your yeah, yeah plumbing yeah then you're gonna notice it at this however i think that you just need to use more yeah yeah <laughs> and get all of that <laughs> things moving moving <laughs> yeah because i really noticed a huge difference in our bathroom it's like more flushing through quickly yeah it's really we had a problem with the that not draining well mm. and i was using the bokashi from our soil yes because that actually the bokashi tea helps to get drains running clear but the plasma once we started doing the plasma mm -hmm. it was like happening yeah and, and there's no odor there anymore and i have a little frog that lives in the bathroom now that well actually there was more than one and they had babies and now there's baby frogs living in the bath that came up the drain oh. i don't actually stop them they love the plasma and they eat the spiders and oh good in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and it's like um <sighs> I don't know. It's like so friendly to the environment. That's actually why I Lee's like, okay, we need to get rid of the frogs and like make this drain so that he can't come up. And I'm like, no, no, like <laughs> he's part of the ambiance mm -hmm. of the bathroom. And it's like wild, like literally, um, that you can have this, um, living bathroom, like where it's friendly. <laughs> yes. Right. 
like there's yes. a there's like this kind of uh companionship happening with nature right there in the bathroom it's like my little reminder that yes of how harmonic it is yes yeah and to like after an enema when uh, there is always some uh, left uh, like plasma right so and then i actually kind of clean the floor but i know that if i don't uh, wash it off uh, totally then it would leave like an odor right yeah so i really have my ways just not extreme but just to make sure that i just feel fine with what i'm doing and yeah kind of not that i'm totally avoiding all the uh, uh, words about it from my partner because he's fine with it you know but yeah. he's just he asks me to if i have like fresh plasma that he i would put a lid on the um on the cup mm -hmm. as well where mm -hmm. i store it mm -hmm. um yeah so that for me i like of course the uh, fragrance but yeah for him it's different yeah and so i just try to find my ways which I line up with. I don't feel rejected. I feel totally fine with the choice the choice I make. Yes. And his feelings about it, he's fine with me doing it and we just yeah, I just find a way how it's okay, you know, in our household. And, yeah. Yeah, and not just push against him. Oh, no, sure. Yeah. And I think that in the beginning too there's something about like being really grounded in the knowledge of it really helps mm -hmm. so that you're not you know um over like sure you can have um like obstacles and things that you need to work between you and your partner but like secure and really yeah. firm in your knowledge of how how good it is and you're not exactly you know, so you're not willing you're not make sure making sure you're not willing to compromise like the truth of what is exactly going on. exactly and yeah I, I like just to make sometimes little jokes in relation to what's the knowledge, right? Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah. And then in the end, like if we talk like recently, I said, I think if people really, in the end, all people, the total medicine for everything is plasma. And, <laughs> and he would say, I think you're right. You know, yeah, kind of. At some point you have to like yeah. give in to the truth. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Even if you're not going to use it yourself, but I think inevitably that's probably where it's going to go at some point. Mm. Yeah. So, but indeed it helps to stay really grounded with it. Yeah. I would, I would never stop it. Yeah. This is it for me too. This is me. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't talk about what if, there is no what if, it's just me. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. And I like this exchange and mm. wish everybody who feels like it likes to do it. Yes. And the um, the odor actually, um, I don't know, there's something like changing the name and not talking, like mm -hmm. even in in company, like I, I don't use the U word, I'd really go with golden plasma and just to change the language of what and the feeling behind all of these words that we have like the feeling behind that word is yeah. a lot it's all this you're programmed emotion the, you're bypassing the programming yes bypassing the programmings is really um was a really big part of it for me um and then associating it with something else, like w how it opens up the airways. I'm like, oh, this is like eucalyptus. Mm. And like associating it yes. with other things like that, that are brightening and, you know, comforting and mm, want to bring you closer, which is what plasma really does. It just wants to bring you closer to like everything. And it's crazy to me how much you can be in it and um you know half hour later when everything is dry you you it's like gone yeah it's you don't feel it in the laundry no and the laundry feels so much cleaner mm -hmm. 
That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So the order is is fine, right? Yeah. Most of the times, and then otherwise you find your way around to to use it still, you know. Yeah. Well, the first time I sort of cracked a bottle where I was getting used to the, or just like not thinking about what it was in the bottle and just approaching the container like as a child like you know blind mm -hmm. to what's in there like experimenting you know like a kid and you're like hmm, what is this and I smelt it and I had this memory come back of my grandmother doing a perm oh yeah yes yes <laughs> the ammonia and then one time when I was washing my face and taking some up my nose and I was like, oh, my gosh, I just got a flashback of being a kid at the swimming pool and getting like this gush of chlorine. Whoa, up yes. My nose or being a kid yeah. in the pool. Yes. And so it's like, you know, yeah, what is it indeed? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. So I think for this lovely viewer. Yeah. And we'll wrap uh, it up there. And you said one of. The people who loves to, uh, yeah, to join mm. with all of us who are join doing and joining. Yeah. So we hope we answered your question. Mm. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> and and uh, okay, so we'll cut that there. Do you want to talk a little bit about enzyme? Yeah, but let's do that with okay. a little introduction. You, know, you had a little setup. Mm -hmm. the software and you can do your call yeah and uh, other people can join you you could call here or wherever we are mm -hmm. and record like your full uh, resolution on your computer mm -hmm. and then we can put it together and it looks like a pro interview right mm. that's why what I'm working on is kind of yeah yeah because interviews don't happen Rarely. Yeah, this is sure super rare. Yeah, that makes total sense. a lot of them are, all... you know, best quality content is shot. Yes, the gear on one studio, but now we can do it. I think this is a big part of the reason why I'm... I talk with Megan tomorrow. Yeah, she booked me again, seventh. Yeah, and uh, Brother Sage also. Like, you don't have to see each other together. in real time, it's full resolution. Yeah. But you're recording. Right. And yeah. That's how it's all gonna be. Yeah. Next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay, we're gonna do one more. Yeah, you just keep shooting another thing and um try to look at the, the time and then the right and wait it and then make you view. Okay. Oh and eighteen then, minutes, we're good. We're doing well. Ten minutes. Okay. Um, I'm here again today with Aneke, who has fallen in love with a, another, we have another, I don't know. Okay. And then you can stream to your band, your members, the mm. whole thing, like what you're doing, like in studio. You know what they're releasing now? Stan Getz, 1955, with all the bad takes. And people are buying it. Yeah, it's crazy. Because it's like, you're in the studio. Yeah. With Stan Getz. Yeah, it's well. crazy. Okay. We're here again today with Anika. Um, Anika and I both have a love of fermented tonics or fermented, home fermented fruit vinegars is a sort of another way of saying that. Um, We've been doing, well, I've been doing it for quite some time, about a year? Over no, a year? longer. I think it's almost more, two years. Yeah, more than two years. More, yeah, I was just saying more than two years. Wow. Um, and you? Yeah, like a, 10 years or something crazy <laughs> like that. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Um, so that's a, become sort of a really big part of our daily lives like do you go a day without drinking some enzyme no i don't um we recently 
shared our love of this ferment with uh, some women in town here. And I just wanted to have a short conversation about what that's like to include in your lifestyle and your diet. And um, yeah, just share a little bit about the process of making it, which is pretty simple. One part sugar, three parts whatever fruit you want, and 10 parts water. That's sort of like the basics of it. But we're just going to similar products to this are sold online for a lot of money and it's extraordinarily easy to make them yourself these digestive um, m enzymes that our bodies all need and love so yes yeah. yes yeah and it's so nice that it's really like a three month ferment mm -hmm. right so yeah good one <laughs> yeah three months yeah yeah or it's, longer right For, yeah from three months let's say like this yeah you can do short ferments but three months is sort of ideal and yeah, yeah the longer the better yeah it's just a matter of choosing kind of flavor right mm -hmm. and there you go with anna who has like over 10 years experience <laughs> so it's it's fantastic smorgasbord of flavors yeah, yeah. like i I remember you introducing it in um, to my life actually, mm -hmm. and um, I liked the suggestion of the uh, citric, mm -hmm. like citrus uh, fruits, peel, mm -hmm. any sort, um, pineapple as well. Yeah. Um, I use papaya skin or whatever I cannot use from the papaya. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a little bit older, a bit off. So. Yeah, and I as now I use this as a base, and it has such a great flavor. Yeah, yeah, and it's really like endless the flavors that you can come up with. It's yeah. nuts, and you just fill up kind of the jar you want to fill. Like mm. I like myself, like I have now great, how do you call it? Like big, it's firm plastic with a good lid. It has a handle, and it's I think four liters. Mm. And you can just fill it up in the tempo which suits you. Mm -hmm. It can take weeks. Yes. And it's fine. Yeah. But as long as you told me as well, like the fruit doesn't stay like to stay bare, but it likes to stay in the sugar water. So yeah. then it can already start and then yeah. you can just add on. Yeah. And it works so well. Oh, you get such a delicious product at the end. I don't even want to call it product. It's like this living thing. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of... Um, um, the fire cider that's really popular now, um, they use these bases, they use a apple cider vinegar base, but that's really like a, I mean, you can more, that's more of like a vinegar infusion. Uh, whereas like, this is really like a raw wild ferment. So we're not using fire cider as a base we're creating the own like ferment from the beginning this is why it takes a bit longer but you get such a more uh, deep product in the end like there's more probiotics and just more life in there than using um than using short term yeah the apple cider vinegar did you do you still buy apple cider vinegar? i did but i decided that it is my it was my last bottle yeah i really don't have any no and i think it's just the things i use for apple cider vinegar for are now i use my home ferment yeah one with salad dressings and yeah whatever wherever you're putting yeah your vinegar i just put it in my yeah enzyme tonic fermented enzyme tonic really i don't know what a short name for it is yet yeah <laughs> so we'll find we'll figure that out as we go along but yeah yeah it's really the flavors that get me our image just went away on the screen here I can i have a little look on my i heard I some body what what oh, oh no this thing has no power. um so did we get that other part recorded did we lose everything you're still getting the sound so did we lose all of the video? No. Oh, okay. We don't lose anything. All right. 
It's just not the point. Okay. It was just my last. Mm-hmm. Should stop. Right. It says 10% here. Is that your laptop here? Oh, 16. Please? Yeah. Is your laptop plugged in? Oh. Oh, 96. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I see a message. That's the battery. Ah, what's wrong with all my laptops? Mm. But I think we already have kind of. Yeah, we'll just wrap it up. Covered. Yeah. Should I wait for the image to come back? Uh, yeah. Maybe we just. Then do we know how many stems it has, like in probiotic land? It's hard to tell, right? I see it doesn't reconnect. Let's talk stupid about that Android. quickly. So stupid Android. It's useless. Good work. Okay, now we have to do there. Your mouse, your ghost, and your camera. We can call it like yeah. a variety, quite a big variety of probiotic. Yeah, unknown. Yeah. It's, it's like the milk oh, yeah. kefir. I remember like... An, you re- they really don't... No, it, yeah. No, exactly, because it depends on what you're putting in it too. And what kind of sugar you're using and... Oh, yeah, yes. Yada, 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 yes. And the fruit... Like the, it's like um, kombucha. The ferment is happening from the yeasts and bacteria that are on the tea, that live off the tea leaf. Yeah. That's what makes kombucha, like kombucha. Yeah, like the vomit taste. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I met you through the Scooby, you know? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Not Scooba, but Scooby. And then I told you later, like, yeah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really like the taste. And then you said, oh, for me, say. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh, this is not really my uh, thing. The kombucha. Yeah. Yeah. And it was interesting when Megan was talking about the ferments, mm. which I haven't done a lot, the lacto ferments, which I haven't done a lot of. Me neither. Uh, I. For a reason, I stuck with it. I don't know. And then I got some daikon radishes the other day from the organic mm. farmer's market. And I was like, ooh, let's, yeah. let's ferment these. Yeah. They're nice, crunchy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. nice flavor. And I, I kind of, I had like, you know, I had a few sticks. And then I went to do a plasma cycle. And I was like, whoa. Whoo. Too much. Some salt there. Oh, right. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, because you, I think this yeah. just ended that game. <laughs> yeah, but it, I think what you recently said, like if people are not into plasma yet, then fermentation, yeah, like the fermentation, is a great way to, yeah, sure. Yeah, and I think that like, like I would still, I would still do a workshop on mm-hmm. it. It's yeah, still yeah. serves a need for people, and I would even still, you know, I think selling uh, smaller portions of like the black salt and the Himalayan salt so mm. that people can take them when they're traveling and put it, yeah. like salt their food or something yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. It's a step up from exactly. the table salt that's yeah. right there, right? Like, yeah, so, the iodized. Uh, yeah, it's all about just doing real. a little bit better. and Yeah, but it's funny because like now you've really lived that stage and now you're getting into another stage and you're yeah. still teaching about that stage and yourself are, are in another stage yeah it doesn't matter and that's fine yeah and i like that openness yes because yes because i like to talk about different things and wherever everybody wherever people are at yes just meeting them where they're at yeah and then seeing what they're open to yeah and just to start wow I know. Bringing operation here. <laughs> the, the, the surgeon. The oh, there we are. The guy. 
it, it, it pays no, off. It I pays like off. It because I tell you what I want, and it doesn't matter if it's not fucking perfect. I'm just playing a game. Yeah. So, are we recording still? Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll come. Why out. don't you stop the recording and then you get.